Hi, and welcome to the second section of this course. Gruntify your project. In the first section, we've covered the grunt's guiding principles, so we know how to use grunt. In this section, we will practice the implementation of grunt into our project. We will manipulate all the fundamental concepts of grunt, tasks, plugins, and configurations. By the end of this section, we will be able to lint our project to run the unit tests and to compile the client side JavaScript modules. In this first video, we're going to use Grunt to automate our project quality checking. We will follow the usual Grunt plugin setup process search for a plugin, install it, load it, and configure the plugin's task. In the future, you'll be able to repeat this process for each plugin you want to use. To perform the verification, we will rely on a tool named ESLint. You may have also used or heard about JSLint or JSHint that are similar tools and could be used in the same manner. Here, we use ESLint because it supports the ECMA script 2015 syntax and provides a lot of possible configuration rules. The ESLint website, eslint.org, gives you all the information about the rules and the possibilities of this tool. Let's open now a terminal at the root of foodprint.io. You should now be on the branch video slash 2.1 and have run npm install. If not, please do so. And don't forget to do it before each video. The project already contains the ESLint rules located in the configuration file ESLintRC. ESLint will look by default for this file in the current working directory. First, we run ESLint without grunt, using the ESLint version embedded in our project. You can have a look at the package JSON for more details. As you can see, ESLint outputs some errors and warnings. To integrate ESLint with our grunt build, the first step is to check if a plugin exists. The Grunt plugin system enables us to reuse tasks made by others. The first place to look for Grunt plugins is the Grunt website, gruntjs.com. This website has a plugins section that lets you search for plugins in the repository. Let's search for the ESLint plugin. You might get multiple results for a kind of plugin. Select the one that looks the most accurate. I advise you to select plugins the same way you select an open source library. Number of stars, maintenance, author, the available options, or the number of opened issues. Some of the plugins are even maintained by the Grunt Core team. Those ones are flagged with the Contrib flag in their name. Like Grunt Contrib Copy. This is usually a sign of quality. Once you select it, we are redirected to the npm package page. A Grunt plugin is an npm module, so you have all the information you need on this page. Let's install the plugin, like any other npm package. Please note that we are using the save dev flag in order to add it to the dev dependencies property of the package JSON. Having each plugin as an npm package makes Grunt plugins really easy to install and manage. To configure the plugin, we need to open the Grunt file JS and add the ESLint entry in the configuration. We create the target all because the ESLint task is a multitask. The configuration contains the pattern that matches all JavaScript files except the dependencies. Don't worry. We'll have a more in depth session on patterns in a further video. We need to ensure the plugin's task is loaded using the grunt method grunt load npm tasks. Now we will be able to run the command grunt eslint in our project in order to verify the project quality. Excellent! You can see that the result of the command is the same as the ESLint result, but you also have additional information about the Grunt tasks themselves. In the example we see here, Grunt has triggered a warning 
because the ESLint tasks have reported some errors. Don't worry about that now though. In this video, we've automated our first build task, the quality checks. We went through the complete cycle from searching and installing the plugin to its configuration and execution. We saw a plugin is an NPM package that contains a task. We've also configured our first task in the Grunt file.